hello everybody so i decided to share this video on my birthday today is my birthday and i'm feeling so excited and i'm sharing with you how to design or how to write in front of your t-shirt when you go take pictures at a studio or you take pictures yourself for example this one right over here like this and then this one right over here like that so either of them if you have you, you can write on this one particularly and then send it over for it to be printed on your sheets or you can go take the picture like this and then you decide to write in front of them in photoshop so i'm going to give you the two steps in doing all those things and then don't forget today is my birthday so comment below what you're giving to me on my birthday so without any further ado let's jump right into the video <laughs> So here we go if you want to design it on this particular t-shirt you can grab it from online I, I just got this from online it's very simple you just have to type in t-shirt samples and then you're going to get a lot of these over there and if you want to go and take your picture also and then write in front of it that is also simple but i'm going to write specifically on this one and then i'm going to transfer it on the picture that has been taken okay so the first thing that i do i'm just going to make this very simple i just pick my test tool and then i go change my color to white all right so basically i'm going to write something in front of this test okay so i'm going to make use of this font called daniela um, the actual one that i use using my tunnel comes with a font messenger pigeons i'll put all of them in the description so you can check them out so i'm going to first of all type it's mine and then i'm going to resize it by pressing ctrl t try to resize it somewhere very neatly now what you have to do or one thing that you can do to stick to or be on course is that you use ctrl a and you select all of it and then you position it right in the middle so over here it means that everything is just right in the middle none of them is going to be bigger than the other side so it's it's mine and then practically that's it so the next one that i'm going to do is i'm going to select um, my rectangle tool and then try to draw my rectangle right over here so it's going to be very simple one like this and then i'm going to select my move tool and then rasterize this layer and i'm going to bring in my ruler because i want to cut in a part of this one so let me zoom in the more so that you get the idea of what i'm doing so i'm going back to pick the polygonal axis to start right from here and then i'll cut up to let's say this point and then get back to that point okay so i'm basically creating a shape around that area when i get to the initial point i'm going to delete it and then i have this nice shape over there all right so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to still select my rectangular market tool and then cut a portion of this rectangle okay basically like here we do or let me bring it here and then delete that one why i'm doing this is that i don't want to cut the other end because i want to get it to be the same size of the same size right so i'm just going to duplicate this one and then press ctrl t to flip it horizontal and then i'm going to drag this to the other side so basically like this so i hold shift and then i select both of them and press ctrl e to merge them together so now we have it to be one layer like that okay so let's try and see it's centered okay so the next thing that i'm going to do so I'm going to select my test tool again and then type in the birthday. So the birthday, I prefer to use the font lakes pattern. It will be in the description. So you check it out. And then I press Ctrl T to resize it and then bring it over here. I'm going to change the font color to black so that you can see it very clearly from there anyways don't ask me in the comment section how old i am because i'm not disclosing that i'm something something years so next i'm going to do a simple thing by duplicating this and then I'm going to change the font color back to white and then there we are going to start to type some crazy stuff so basically and officially i'm accepting these following things so i'm accepting um let me go this way and then I press Ctrl T to resize it and make sure it's in the center like that. Okay, 
so we make a duplicate again by pressing ctrl j and then you list up the things that you are accepting so basically gifts and then um lunches if you want to come take me out i'm here right here and then dinners so i'm accepting all of them and any other thing that you're willing to send me my paypal is available my pioneer is available everything is available if you're in ghana mobile money everything i'm accepting all of them so if anything is ready you just have to send it over i'm ready to receive them so that is it basically let's try to push this up a little bit and then let's try to style this up small so i go to my shapes and then i go to the costume shape over here i have a lot of great stuff here you can find any of them but basically i'm going to make use of this one so i draw this star here or oh, is it a flower yeah flower and then i'm going to change the font color from here to that one um, let me go a bit down like this i think i love this one so you try to position that also over here and then back to the shape we have some more stuff like this i used one thing over there let me try and go and find it for you guys okay so let me calm down small hey what happened so right over here and then i'm going to put it beneath all of the other things so i'm going to make one over here with the same colors that i use for the flower down here and you can use different ones of course there are many so you can try any of them and then i make a duplicate flip it horizontally and then i send it over to the other end basically that's it so you can select all of these layers and then you group them to one thing like one one layer so that is it and that is when you can send it over to your images that you've taken yourself for example when you bring this over here you can press ctrl t to resize it just like this and then you press ctrl a to center it and that is it so i think this one i would have to shift it to this side to make it more good looking but let's stick to this one and that is it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be waiting for my gifts in the comment sections and in my paypal in my mobile money account and anyway wish me luck pray for me and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to keep it moving thank you so much for watching i'll get back to you with another one so it's innocent here on a special birthday counts bye